kind of have to get used to the squeaky chair. That's fine. Hi there, welcome to Jimothy Listens. My name is Jimothy, and today, very excited to be checking out the new Twice mini album with you. Twice are a favorite group of mine, so I am always excited when they drop something new. For this album, we did have one pre-release track, the English single, I Got You, which was cute. If I'm being nice, it was maybe just a slightly chiller version of Ava Max's Maybe You're the Problem. If I'm being honest though, it was a slightly better version of Harry Styles' As It Was, the worst song of 2022. But that's fine, English singles are so I won't hold that against it, and I'm excited to dive into the new tracks that we have here. We're gonna start off by checking out the music video for the title track, One Spark, as well as the performance video, and then we're gonna give a listen through the album and see what the B-sides have going on. So let's dive into it. Alrighty, here we go, One Spark. Let's turn my brightness up. This sounds fun. Wait, are we doing just like a fun poppy track? I'm here for it. This is giving like old twice kind of vibes. Geo sounds great, looks great. The styling is great. Wait, is this fun? Are we getting fun boppy poppy? Mina sounds gorgeous, love her voice. This is fun, having a cute little like dinner party. Nice build in the pre-chorus. I like that curry. We're having a good time. Nice big energetic chorus. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. I love the like, break beat in the chorus to make it really super energetic. Like this feels like if kind of early twice was in 2024. Of course we get the little like trap breakdown for the second verse. I love that we've officially accepted Momo as part of the rap line where she belongs. She's a fantastic rapper. Chewy killing it. Yeah, the styling looks great. I really love all of the outfits. Like, look at Chewie there. Gorgeous. Got that little jersey kick. We're really, like we've taken all of the current trends at the moment, but put it into just like a full energetic K-pop song. Yes, Jung Yan. She looks incredible. Sounds incredible. Wait, I really love this. I really, really like this. Like, I expected it was going to be good because it's twice, but I really like this. We get a nice bridge. Thank you for actually putting a bridge in your K-pop song. Oh, going through all the memories, all the hard times. <gasps> Fun. Give me some big ad libs in the last chorus. Huge high note. The Kari looks super fun. I'm excited to see the performance video. Absolutely. I love that little high synth going just woo woo woo. It gives it like kind of like a video game or like anime feel to it. That is so, so good. I literally hadn't heard anything going into it, none of the teaser stuff. I prefer to go in as blind as possible. And so I literally, I had just heard the pre-release track and then seen like the cute concept images. That's, <laughs> Twice is back. Not that they ever really left, but like, I think that, I mean, literally from one listen at the moment, but that could be my favorite title track since like, alcohol free that's that's so much fun and yeah what i was saying about like the like it is very current and up to date it has that like break beady chorus it's got that jersey kick 
in the pre-chorus in there. It's got the little trap breakdown in the second verse. It's got all of the things that are very much like trendy at the moment, but puts it into just like a real kind of like fun, like K-pop song, as opposed to being like, no, we're really making this for like the Western audience. And so we're going to do it exactly how like, you know, a BB Rexa or a Pink Pantheress or someone would do it. It's like, no, we're making a K-pop song and we're just going to steal these elements that people like. That's, that's how you do it. That's how you make a good, fun pop song in the year of our Lord 2024. <laughs> I'm buzzing. That was really good. I just want to watch the performance video now because the curry looked super fun. Curry looked super fun. Excited to hear the song again. Oh boy, let's just get right back into it. One spark performance video. <laughs> Even just that on the lap. Ha 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 ha. Fun. Cute. Even that, like, is reminiscent of Feel Special. Like, this kind of does feel like twice going back a bit, but like bringing that into the modern era. Geo looks amazing. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, one more time with that. Yeah, the way that the little pairs are going in opposite ways there, especially the way that they have the hands connecting to make those little waves, that works really nicely. I really like that little shape. Obligatory, hi, I'm a professional dancer and choreographer. If you're new here, here is, I don't know if you can see that, here is my award-winning choreographer's trophy. So there's the tiara to go with it, that wasn't actually given as a prize, you probably can't hear me because I'm just talking into the microphone. But yeah, so I know what I'm talking about when it's dancing stuff. Really pretty shapes. It's very kind of elegant. I love that. Like as we bring in that kind of Josie kick to bring the energy up and everything's being kind of quite like up and elegant and a lot of nice like extended arm lines and everything suddenly coming in with a boom, 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 boom to try and like switch up the vibe a little bit. That's really nice. Yeah, absolutely. That little pony step there, fun. It's really dynamic, like it keeps moving. All right, let's go chorus. I like that. Boom, 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 boom. That's fun. Boom, ta, ta, ta. Yeah, that's really fun. Get it, Santa, little. Absolutely, Chanyan. Ooh, just that little cute. What's the background noise doing there? Like while Jong Yun's doing her bit? Because it's like Jong Yun's quite up here, and then everyone else is getting kind of down and dirty with it. Oh no, that's just Mina throwing her entire body into that little cat cat. <laughs> Really nice, just like textbook way to build up the energy with the, the pony there is really nice. Always love a little. Yeah, I like that. Kung 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 is super fun. And the way that kind of just keeps moving as well, that little boom, boom, boom. I don't know what shapes they're making, but the way it just keeps moving, 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 moving. Just keeps that energy going. Da, 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 da. But isn't like super shape, 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 shape. So it doesn't feel like super aggressive. It's energetic and keeps moving, but it's still just kind of fun and light. Nice that little foot on the cap. Get it, Chewy. Use that length. Yeah, the ponies, so much fun. You don't get a lot of ponies in K-pop, do you? Oh, that's fun. Cat, cat, cat. Cat, 
That's really nice, that kind of like last chorus. Kung, kung, kung. Again, a similar thing of moving on every count. Cut, 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 keeping that energy up, but not being super explosive. Boom, 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 boom. Going like balls to the wall with it to keep it like fun and approachable and boppy and poppy and kind of almost has that like no ding it's not even close enough but it just that kind of shape is very fun and is vaguely reminiscent of stuff that is trendy at the moment without actually dipping into the problematic like cultural appropriation and all of that malarkey that goes along with it i just want to watch this kind of i really like this section here boom 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 Yeah, that's super cute. I love that. And yes, so much fun. I love a straight line always. Yes, yeah, super fun last chorus. Wow. That's really good. That's like, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Twice have done that shit. Again, like listening to the song again, love it. The performance is really fun. Lots of great choreographic stuff. I'd love to know who choreographed it. I wonder if it is up, if we have credits anywhere, cause we never do. Not in the video description. Maybe if I Google it. Kirsten Dodgen, get it. Absolutely Kirsten. We love to see that get the kiwi and she's she's new zealander isn't she i believe so yeah she's royal family well ro was royal family yeah 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 we love kirsten she absolutely killed it on that one good job kirsten more people hire kirsten she's doing good stuff get todd out of there get who else who are the other people i don't like there's three the three men that i'm thinking of there's todd there's kyle tootin and then there's the other Kyle. Hanagami. Oh. Hanagami. Todd, Kyle, and Kyle. Over them. Done with them. Give me more Kirsten. And give me more... I can't remember. The person who did La Seraphim's last comeback. Because that Cory slaps too. Anyway, that's that's the title track done. We still have an album to get through. And I'm very excited to hear it now. I feel like, do I want to just listen to the whole thing? Even though we know the first two tracks? Let's just listen to the four new songs. Oh, what, how long is that? 17 and a half minutes all up. And I do kind of want to hear the title track again. And we should hear where I got you fits in because it might, you know, be better contextually. So yeah, let's just listen to the full thing. Why the hell not? Almost dropped my AirPods. <laughs> all righty. Give me this album. We get that bum, ba -da bum. Yeah, this is very much giving just like the kind of retro synthy poppy kind of vibes. It's a little bit Harry Styles, it's a little bit Ava Max, it's a little bit aha. Uh -huh. Like I don't know why, does anyone else get like take on me vibes from this song? I feel like that's a mashup that you could do that wouldn't necessarily work, it would be quite cursed, but it there's something that would click there. going to know that oh, oh. I do like the chorus like the big vocals are fun and I do like how the production is slightly leveled up from Saiyan as it was it has a bit more kind of energy to it a bit more just like depth and uh, other elements to it like this feels a bit more kind of natural almost like it sounds like like the video looks, it's kind of out in nature, big, expansive fields and stuff. Also, is just the the tempo is nice. That running beat it is nice and fast, so you don't really get stuck and bored and everything. I might edit through this song because I don't really have a lot to say. I've heard it many times before. 
Oh, we had the, actually, I could talk about that. The, like, remixes they dropped, because they just dropped an EP full of, like, seven remixes of it. I didn't listen to all of them, but I did listen to, I can't remember what it's called, there was, like, a garage version or something, and that was whatever. I remember it was, like, a hyper-pop version, and I was like, hmm? And that is, it's kind of funny. Like, it's not great, but I do appreciate it being there, because it is a bit silly and just like doesn't work at all, which kind of makes it even more fun. We do appreciate a bridge, even if it is just the chorus being a bit more downcast, that still counts as a bridge. It also is devilishly catchy. Like, all of the, the melodies and everything just get drilled into the head. It's a cute opener for the album as well, really does, like, set the energy level high. And then we get to our fantastic title track, which I am very happy to hear again. Again, the tempo. We're running, we're racing, we're dashing, just like end mix. Yeah, I love the like break beaty skittery percussion. I just I adore break beat. I I'm glad that we're not just fully leaving that behind in last year. That we are bringing it with us a little bit. And then we get that little moment of levity. Like we get that, because um, the verses are quite sort of energetic and upbeat with that break beat. If that just went straight into the kind of energetic build of the pre-chorus into the energetic chorus, it could just be a little bit flat. And so I like that for the start of the pre-chorus, they do actually like drop it down. Like we get where the percussion gets taken out and we actually get that nice kind of, so we have somewhere to build, which is smart, clever. And I have been getting sick of the Jersey kick kind of recently, but it's nice and subtle there. I think it works well. And because it's only for that pre chorus, it isn't just a whole song being taken over by that da, 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 da. And this chorus is so much fun, so energetic. Yeah, I love that high pitch scene that's just like whining through everything. That's really fun. I love that little drum feel there. Dum, 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 dum. I didn't hear that before. Mm, 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 uh. This like, the, it's just energetic. It just makes me want to move. I want to bounce. I want to jump up and down. Start hitting that pony with I'm gonna overheat. It's a it's not a cold day today. It's quite warm today, and I have my fan off so I can record in peace. But when Twice put out a banger like this, what am I gonna do? Not move? Don't think so. Big bop energy. Got that BBE. Big bop energy. That little shimmering arpeggio kind of thing. Not an arpeggio, what's that? I don't know, the little just like crystal descending sound fun. Like it's just, it very much is like the standard formula for a good pop song. But like the, what am I trying to say? I'm just distracted by the good vibes. <laughs> What am I trying to say? Yeah, it is the like standard formula for a pop song that they've just kind of followed. But because A, they've done every element of it really well, and B, so many people are kind of doing different things to that formula at the moment, like getting rid of the bridge. Yes, Nayan, give me a pause for a second. While people 
while so many groups at the moment are kind of doing different things, whether that's like making shorter songs, getting rid of bridges, or almost developing like a new archetype at the moment for a pop song that is that kind of shorter, TikTokier kind of feel. So for a group to come in and be like, hey, you've heard this kind of pop song done a million times, but it's not really being done so much at the moment, and we're gonna do it really well. It's just, yeah, obviously we love it. Okay, on to the first new B-side, Rush. I like that piano. I love that. Wow. Wow. Oh, heavenly melodies. Smooth. Again, we've got the break baby drums. Yeah. Fun. Oh, that piano is really nice. Again, Jersey kick. Da, 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 da. I really like that piano. Cute. This is the ones that are gonna hate me for this. This is like if Basics was good. <laughs> I know that everyone loves Basics. I think it's abysmal and I can't stand it. This is if Basics was great. Ooh. Yeah. Digging it, vibing it. I love that. Just the harmonic. Lay back, groovy, vibey. I love that kick, how just like echoey that kick is. Like that's not something that's right up here. That's just like clapping to big trash can lids like a kilometer away from the microphone. It's fun. And it kind of contrasts that like close up simple piano. It's like you've got the world's tiniest little like keyboard right next to your ear while someone is like smashing two buildings together a mile away. And again, track three, we're still relentless energy, tempo, pace. Like, I think this is the slowest song so far and this is still big driving energy. Yeah, I really like that piano. It works especially well in that little lower moment. Like the the dynamics are really good. As much as every song so far has been just like big energy, pace, tempo, there's still a lot of different moments of ups and downs and highs and lows to keep it from feeling stale. I'm really enjoying this. Halfway through the album, we're banging. What's new new got in store? Ooh. Sunny teen flick kind of vibes. I love the fun little ad libs. You heard it? Let's go! Fun. Super fun. Pre-chorus me. I like that little sample, whatever that like shrieking, screeching noise is. That's kind of fun. All right, give me this chorus. I'm expecting something big. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Again, the energy, relentless. We're pushing. Oh, that's a gorgeous melody. Especially Geo's voice is perfect for that. Just like wide open, soaring kind of voice there. Gorgeous. Yeah, give me a Che Young rap. Give me a corny ass Che Young rap. My favorite Nazi. Laid back, breezy, summery, having fun with your friends kind of vibes, living for it. I'm 
I'm running out of things to say other than I'm just really enjoying all of the fantastic pop music they are serving me on this album. <laughs> Again, a bridge. Thank you. Tap, 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 tap. I like that little upbeat brush, whatever that is. Huge Geo high note, absolutely. I'm kind of dying from the heat right now. And I can see my drink bottle sitting right there, but it's holding up my phone to be the camera so I can't take a sip from it and it's just taunting me as I'm dying from the heat. But this song is so refreshing that like really I don't actually need it. I just need to listen to this a couple more times and I'll be oh moisturized flourishing in my lane unbothered. Little giggle at the end is always fun. Alright two more tracks. Let's see what track five Bloom has to offer. Immediately. Ooh, heavenly. Okay. Production is really nicely done all over this album. Mmm, bouncy. That's really, I want to see who produced all of these tracks. I Got You, produced by Dwiley, One Spark, produced by Ear Attack and Liu Hyun. Any names I recognize? No. Rush, Carl Artino and Cutfather. Rush also written by Che Young. New Year is... Ooh! Oh, I love that. With a kind of like vocoder of vocals underneath. That's really nice. Ooh, that's really nice, that chorus. This is produced by Ear Attack. Oh, this is Lindgren. Also partly written by Jung Yan. Get it. And then the last track. The last track is a Dakyan and a different producer as well. This is really nice. I know I've been talking just over this track and not about it, but this is really fun. Just that nice kind of bouncy synthy and that chorus. I'm excited to hear that chorus again. I might actually just shut up for the chorus and <laughs> hear it. This is fun. This is, yeah. It's got attitude, it's got personality to it, like the whole album. I love those harmonious melodies, the heavenly chorus. Give me this. Oh, oh, that's so tasty. I always love that kind of effect when it's used. Like I think Promise Nine's, is it Prom Night off of their last album has a similar thing with that like just dropping everything else out but kind of the lead vocal with the like more computerized vocoded harmonies underneath it. It's just a really nice sound and I love whenever something like that gets used. Yeah, all of the like backing vocals on this track are really nice. I wish I could sing, man. Nice, solid, slow and steady build. But hopefully a nice big last chorus. Oh, oh, ah! Those high notes. Is that like one of, like is this one of Twice's best vocal songs? Like all over this are some of the nicest vocals I've ever heard from Twice. And I mean, like, Twice are always serving good vocals, but this is like, I guess I just really like that kind of high-pitched falsetto-y stuff that always appeals to me. Alright, and then on to our final track. I honestly thought this was going to be a ballad, considering it's written by Dakyeon and has a different producer to the rest of the album. But it sounds like we're still getting energetic. Like that, that's a really fast tempo. I guess if we half it. But still, not a ballad. Yes. 
because I get the uh, like I get why we do a ballad at the end of the album because it is nice to end your album on kind of the more like emotional climax, wrap it all up. But normally that happens by just having the energy go up and then suddenly dropping off. And so something like this that still has that slightly more kind of like emotional closure kind of feel, but is still fun and energetic and like has some oomph to it. Perfect way to close an album. Yeah, I really like just that little synth going up and down in the background. And good vocals like that, I always love a group shout. So that's just made for me. Mm. 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 Hey, hey, hey. It's really nice. Just really nice. Having a really good time. This is a really fantastic album. Oh, I, I can't believe it took that long for me to notice that track one is I Got You, track six is You Get Me. Thick. Thick. It's okay. At least we got there eventually. But that is a nice little full circle from I Got You, You Get Me. We love when an album makes sense top to bottom. It's more than just like, hey, here are six songs. It's like, no, this is one thing. Gorgeous. I... <laughs> I have no words, that's just fantastic. That's just really, really damn good. And that does it for Twice's With Youth, a fantastic mini album. I, yeah, I know I said that One Spark is maybe my favorite title track since Alcohol Free. That's also maybe my favorite mini album since Taste of Love. Like, wow, wow. Just six fantastic pop bangers. It does what I just absolutely kind of love about K-pop, which is taking in the kind of trending sounds and everything from around the world at the moment and then just kind of merging them together in the kind of distinctly over-the-top, overproduced, maximalist K-pop way, as opposed to what we're seeing a lot of at the moment, which is like, no, we're going to actually just do these Western sounds in like a Western way and make that really boring because Western pop music is really boring at the moment. This actually does the fun thing of just kind of taking everything and then putting it into the big K-pop mixing pot and seeing whatever the fuck spills out. And whatever the fuck spills out is six really good pop songs. Really good. The energy from top to bottom is insane. It is relentless. It is just exploding with joy and energy from top to bottom. I adore it. <laughs> I really don't have much more to say. That's just a really fantastic comeback. You have outdone yourselves twice. That's... Damn. Damn. Whew. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, I think that'll do it. Like, I really... I. I don't know how many more ways I can say I love it, so we're gonna leave it at that. What do you think of this comeback? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe to see more of this. I hopefully have videos coming out at some point, sometimes. We get there eventually. And other than that, have a good day, have a good week. Treat yourself to something nice today. You deserve it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.